What's up guys, welcome to your seventh Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over conditional statements. If you've ever known what a conditional statement is, it's basically saying whatever you're entering, if it returns true, if it is a true statement, then it's going to have a different outcome. It's basically a cause and effect in programming. What we do for our cause and effect is we're going to have if, it's going to check to see if whatever I enter inside of these parentheses, which you always have to put behind your first, behind the first part of your conditional statement, if whatever you want is equal to something or is not equal to something, um, then it's going to produce certain results. So where we put number in up here, I, I changed it to an integer, and I changed this to an integer right here. I don't know if I did that in the last tutorial or not. If it's an integer, or not if it's an integer, if we enter our number, and I'm going to change this to age because I'm going to ask for your, for your age. Oh my gosh, can I type today? Okay, your age is basically this is going to go through right now and it's going to ask, um, please enter your age, you enter your age, and then it's going to print out your age for you. But, If we put our age above the print line and we say if um, our number is greater than 10, then what we're going to produce, I suggest you always use curly brackets, just you don't the thing with conditional statements is you don't have to have curly brackets but it is very very recommended that you do you don't have to have curly brackets but only if you're going to have one result if I was going to take this system print line right here and put it in there I don't need the curly brackets because that's just going to say if this is true then it's only going to execute this one line of code but if we have more than one statement then we can put them all inside of these two curly brackets and it's going to execute everything that's inside that way we can have we can make it do multiple things all at once after it figures out what's going on so it's going to say system out print line your age is and we're also going to put a system out print line and you are older than 10 so if you can read this, it's basically going through and saying if your age that you enter is greater than 10, it's going to say your age is 10, or it's going to say your age is whatever number you enter, and underneath that it's also going to say you are older than 10. What we can do with this is basically test different results and cause different, er, and produce different effects. But what happens if this doesn't turn return true? What do you do? Well, this thing is automatically going to go to the end and it's going to say nothing. It's not going to do anything after that because it's basically going in order from top to bottom what it's going to do. It's going to go in, it's going to declare the variable, it's going to declare a scanner, and we're going to enter whatever age is, and it's we're going to check our age after that. And if our age isn't greater than 10, if it's 10 or lower, then it's not going to do anything. But if it is greater than 10, then it's going to produce everything inside of these two curly brackets right here. This doesn't... How am I going to word this? This doesn't require... It doesn't require you to have... No, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, if this doesn't return true, there is something that you can do in order to make it have a backup plan, per se. The backup plan is going to be called else. Else is basically going to go in and say, if this does not return true, then we're going to do whatever is after our curly brackets for else. And it's the same thing with else as I said above. You don't have to have um, the curly brackets if you're only going to be executing one line of code. So we have it say else and then we're going to say system out print line 
we're going to do your age is and enter our number and we're also going to do system out print line you are 10 or younger now this is very important that you have these curly brackets here whenever you're doing more than one case. I cannot stress how important it is because there will be a bunch of mess ups where it will be just because you forgot to put your curly brackets in there. You have to remember this. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this program and at the bottom you can see that we're going to enter our age. I'm 16. It's going to run it and it's going to say your age is 16 and you are older than 10. Notice how I entered this only and did not print this out. That's because if this one returns true, then why would it need to go through and also do what's false? It wouldn't. Why Why would you want to do something even though it's going to have no real result? It, it's not. It's going to have false results is what, is what I'm saying. It's not going to do that, which is a good thing. That means that it's not always going to go through and print everything out that you tell it to. It's going to, pr it's going to print specific things based off of outcomes. So if I run this program again and it says please enter your age and let's say I was six years old. You're six years old. I find you so. Okay. If you enter your age and I put six, it's going to say your age is six and you are ten or younger. That's because this did not return true. So it's going to print this out instead. That's all I'm going to go over through this tutorial with you today. Um, I'm only going to go th over that because I'll run out of time here soon and I don't want to get into another conditional statement. So don't forget to subscribe. Practice a lot with programming. Get accustomed to d uh, using conditional statements and, s and using your scanner class and printing everything out and variables. You need to remember this because it's going to be very important. Um, I already told you, but subscribe. I'll tell you again. Subscribe. Give me a give me some feedback on what's going on. Um, if you like my tutorials, please let me know in the comments or send me a message. And there's a like and dislike button. If you think I'm doing bad, hit the dislike button. If you think I'm doing good, hit the like button. Peace.